So, yep, yeah, I'm bored, I'm doing this. Well, it was the first visit for Bournemouth to the King Power Stadium, and I'm sure that they came here full of optimism. They've started the season quite well for a newly promoted team. They were sitting in ninth place before the game, and they'd also got a decent result against some team up the road the week before. Um, so, I, th I think... For myself, I, I was expecting a you know, potential banana skin because being a typical City fan, we, we we don't make things easy for ourselves. And yet again, we didn't make things easy for ourselves. Um, but we won, and that was the important thing. And it was a decent 2-1 result again, which is becoming our favourite score. It's not the best one for the blood pressure or, or, or the heart. Um, it does leave you kind of thinking well, what are we doing, are we, you know, are we going to concede a stupid goal? Because, you know, you can see one stupid goal, you can see another stupid goal, and before you know it, two ones, three two, and it does get a bit nerve-wracking at times. So if our midfield could just take a, a look at the Pew goal and just realise, yeah, you can do that too, then maybe we start making these two ones a little bit more comfortable um, by becoming 3-1 or 4-1 maybe even 5-1 who knows um overall though I, th I thought Bournemouth were okay and they did lack a little bit of quality which is why we beat them um but their lack of discipline um, you know I don't know what the referee was doing um people around us didn't know what the referee was doing he gave Ward about three or four chances um to avoid being booked that's the other way around isn't it he gave um Ward three or four chances not it doesn't make sense does it I mean basically Ward tried his damnedest to get sent off and it took the the referee quite a while to sort of think actually do you know what oh you know he might as well just go he's, he, he's clearly you know, probably wants to get on Twitter or something. I, I don't know, I don't know, but whatever it was, Elliot Ward didn't want to be on the pitch, so he went and, um, yeah, it, it, I'd like to think that helps, but um, at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm, I think we were just the better team and deserve a victory. Don't know what you think. Um, if you'd like to comment or if you disagree, um, feel free to post. Well, what a night. I enjoyed it. I'm sure that everyone else in the King Power Stadium did too, except for Fulham fans. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't care if they enjoyed it or not. Uh, basically, uh, when you start with the banter, um, you know, your banter's fine, banter's fine, but I, I prefer my banter to be funny. And singing How Shit Must You Be, We're Winning Away, when you've just taken the lead early on in a cup tie where both sides have made some changes to, to their team and it's not really going to probably end up staying 1-0, is it, realistically? I mean, you, you might hope it, but fine. And and the other thing as well with it, I think we're only was it six or seven places below them as far as the league structure goes, so um, they're not exactly setting the world on fire. And, and I... Unless, of course, um, I mean, I have got a theory about this. I mean, basically, when we drew this tie, quite a few of our fans were not very um, enamoured with it or, or taken with it. And yet some fans like myself thought, great, a great opportunity here to, to see how we've progressed. Um, you know, if we've got realistic ambitions of being promoted this season, then to test ourselves so early on against a team like Fulham, who in all fairness, are the kind of team that we're going to have to be beating when we're in the Premier League. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a good test. And it shows us you know, what we need to do, where we need to improve, um, in theory. But then I thought, well, maybe the Fulham fans are thinking the same too. Um, looking at the way that they've gone so far this season, they might be looking at, at the likes of Leicester City, uh, a team that is trying to go for promotion to the Premier League, and thinking, well, you know, these, these are the kind of teams we're going to have to be beating next season. But, as it happens, um, 
they made a lot of changes. I, I, I think there was only one, was it Senderos was the only outfield player that survived Saturday's defeat or something like that. Um, we also make changes too. So whilst it's, it is, it is a brilliant boost for the club, um, at the end of the day, we, we haven't really got a real comparison as, as to how we would fare against your, your lower end Premier League side. Sorry, Fulham fans. That's the truth. It's, it's the way it is. You know, we've had to deal with it. Now it's your turn. And it's also worth noting as well to, to remember where you've come from. I mean, you haven't been in the Premier League um, for forever. Uh, I'm sure some of you that... That, that were there last night might not remember a time outside the Premier League but you know when, when we beat you in the League Cup in at Filbert Street um, under Martin O'Neill and um, you were the underdogs that night and the poor team and um, you must have taken great hope in in taking it to a penalty shootout and I have to say that was the best penalty shootout I have ever ever seen um, if, if Leicester City could go through another penalty shootout like that, uh, again, brilliant. In fact, I'd like them all to be like that. Um, but don't mention penalty. Not, not again. So, yeah, it, it was a good cup tie. It, it was um, pretty much end-to-end -end stuff, kind of. Um, Fulham had decent spells. We had decent spells. Uh, certainly straight after... Half time, I thought we looked particularly good, um, but you know, I think the shock of you know, when we went three one up and then Fulham scored pretty much from from kick off. Um, I, I would like to think that was really a, a lack of concentration because I, I thought we we dealt well after that, and um, yeah, so it, it was a great. Great cup tie, great victory, um, one that, that hopefully we'll see as rewarded in, in the next round with, with a decent draw. Um, I'm, I, I thought, I'm torn. Um, somebody beatable versus, you know, get one of the big clubs, get the, the payday. Um, realistically, are we going to win the competition? Will we be best off going out now um, to a Manchester United or a Chelsea? Or should we all get our hopes up and... Um, just have them dashed by by drawing somebody that really we, we couldn't possibly should have beaten but who knows to, you know tonight's the night who knows what's going to happen but um yeah I've just had this thought though during the game Martin Yole is a bit of a strange one I, I, but I don't know why he, he always strikes me as somebody that ought to be a contestant on come dine with me and you, you can see it now um, Martignol, it'd be one of those bonkers. Those. Get him with Ian Holloway. My God, you need an Alan Shearer in there just to tone it down a bit and, and try and make it normal. That's how wacky and bizarre the, the night would be. Um, so, yeah, those are my thoughts.